गुड इवनिंग आर एबल टू सी माय स्क्रीन यस सर ओके फाइन okay so in the last class actually we discuss about uh, cables okay so i'm just to start with the basic cables coaxial twisted wire fiber optic and also what are the cables we are using in real time that's also we discuss uh, straight cable only we are using in uh, real companies and next we discuss about uh, console cable so console cable is purely depends on configuration purpose okay so while you are to if you are configuring any devices a network devices physically for the first time you have to configure physically only so that time we have to connect a console cable uh, to the network device to your computer and then you can configure and also we discuss about the cable category there will be four category cat4 cat5 cat6 and cat7 what is the difference between each category means the speed only difference okay so cat4 is 1 mbps 10 mbps 100 mbps uh 1 gbps so as of now i said in the cisco product we are using cat6 and cat7 only that is called fast ethernet and gigabit ethernet that is a technical name okay so this word only is an important yesterday also i said uh, if you are procuring a switch fast ethernet switch then the speed will be 100 mbps if you are procuring a gigabit switch then the speed will be 1 gbps depends on your company requirement you can purchase the switch and you can uh configure the devices so this is what we discuss on last class so any doubts any queries no sir okay so let's start today class okay so today we will start with the configuration side okay uh if example if you want to configure any devices okay network devices right like router switches okay so in which mode we can configure this is whatever we discuss today and tomorrow okay that is common for all the network devices that means switches router firewall wireless devices it is common for all okay uh, today we will discuss about uh, modes of configuration what are the modes available to configure the devices okay modes of configuration modes of configuration okay so how many modes is there means there is a four mode okay one is a user execution mode the first one is user execution mode second one is privilege mode user execution mode second one is privilege mode third one is global configuration mode global configuration mode global configuration mode fourth one is specific interface configuration mode specific interface configuration mode okay so these are the four major modes okay so we each and every mode uh, what uh, is there and wh what we need to do in each and every mode we can see now okay so the first mode is a user execution mode what is a user execution mode okay while logging any devices maybe the switches or router firewall okay first is first mode will be the user execution mode the first mode is user execution mode okay so so how we can find the user execution mode if the device is switch then it will be display as switch if the device is router then it will be display as a router if it is a firewall then it will be display as a firewall okay after that there is a one symbol that is a lesser than symbol okay this symbol if you are seeing this symbol that is the user execution mode okay once i will show once completed the theoretical i will show you and also i will do the demonstration as well okay the first mode is user execution mode how we can find the user execution mode means there will be symbol lesser than symbol okay this is the first mode if you are logging any devices the first mode is user execution mode in this mode what we can do means okay if example already some configuration is there maybe you are a new device 
or you are already uh, device has been configured means we have to verify correct what configuration is there in the devices what configuration is there in devices means how we can verify means we, we need to be view the commands we need to view the configuration okay so that we call as a show what are the configuration is there how we can show means how we can uh, view means there is a command called show commands okay each and every topic we can see this show commands this command where it will support means it will support only in the user execution mode not for all the show commands only some of the show commands only it will be supported in the user execution mode in the user execution mode we can't do any changes on the configuration only we can view the configuration not for all the views only list of some listed okay so i will show you what is the uh, what, what are the commands it will be support in the user execution mode okay i will i will tell you but in the user execution mode you can't do any changes in the configuration only we can view the configuration only okay in the user execution mode you can't do any configuration only we can verify or view the configuration that we can call as a show commands okay only show commands only it will be supported in the user user execution mode not for all the show commands only some of the show commands only it will be supported in the user execution mode clear okay so next is privilege mode okay so next is privilege mode in privilege mode how we can verify means if the device is a switch then it will be displayed as a switch if the device is router then it will be displayed as a router okay after that there is a symbol called hash if the hash symbol is there then that is the privilege mode okay so how we can go from user execution to privilege mode means we have to type a one command the command called enable if we are typing the command enable then it will be go from user execution mode to privilege mode for the first mode it's a user execution mode only okay if you want to go to the privilege mode you have to type the command enable once you type the command enable and then enter okay then it will go to the privilege mode in the privilege mode also we can't do change any configuration in the privilege mode we can't do any changes only we can verify here i mentioned some of the show commands correct here it will be support all the show commands maximum in a companies we are doing we, we can verify the command in privilege mode only okay so mostly we can't verify in the user execution mode only in the privilege mode uh, only we can verify all the show commands okay all the show commands it will be supported in the privilege mode not only for the show commands okay uh, if you want to save the configuration if you want to save the configuration save command if you want to save the configuration the save command it will be supported in the privilege mode okay if you want to reboot the device the reboot command what is the reboot command everything i will tell you as of now i am just to tell you what are the what are the commands it will be supported in each and every mode that's what i say uh, saying now okay so all show commands it will be supported in the privilege mode save command a reboot command and if you want to copy the configuration from one mode to another mode okay so that copy command also it will support it in the privilege mode all show commands save commands a reboot commands copy commands it will be supported in the privilege mode in the first two modes user execution and privilege mode we can't do in change any configuration only we can verify the configuration only verify i show the configuration okay the first two mode we can't do any changes only we can verify only here yeah, now are any doubts no sir no sir okay okay so the next mode is global configuration mode okay in this global configuration mode only we can do all the configuration based on your requirement 
what are the requirements in your company okay based on your requirements we can do all the changes in a switches router firewall all the configuration we can do in the global configuration mode only okay so how we can verify means switch the bracket symbol there is a called config the bracket okay config will be the okay so if the config ash only ash means that is a privilege mode okay if the config ash means there is a global configuration mode okay so what is a command to use execution mode to privilege mode there is a enable command okay so what is a command to go from privilege mode to global configuration mode means we have to type the command configure terminal configure terminal okay configure terminal okay first we have to type the command enable okay the second command is configure terminal if you are typing if you are typing the configure terminal then enter then it will go to the global configuration mode in this mode we can do all the configuration depends on your requirement all the configuration based on your requirement we can do in this global configuration mode okay if example okay you are taking a switch you are going to do a configuration a switch means just to take a switch okay whatever you are configured in the global configuration mode it will support all the ports sorry sir excuse me sir excuse yes. me can you hear me yeah i can hear you Sir, I'm happy. Sir, I'm having one family personal issue. I have to move now. Can you please upload this video link? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. I will upload it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, sir. Yeah, thank and you. And I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. So in the global configuration mode, okay, whatever you are doing the configuration, it will be support all the configuration. Uh, sorry if it is a 24 port switch or 48 port switch okay 28 maybe i said in a switch there will be there is a 24 port is there or 48 port is there correct so if you are configuring the 24 port in the global configuration mode it will support all the conf all the ports whatever you are doing the configuration okay it will be applicable to all the interfaces 24 4, 4, 24 interfaces or 48 4 interfaces okay if example okay maybe you are connecting a computer in the interface so i said we will connect the interface in the switch port correct so here you can example take as example interface 1 this is interface 2 this is a computer this is a b computer okay for example, if you want to do configuration only in the A computer, maybe for example, you can just assume, okay, so I want to block the Facebook web website only for the computer A. Then what I need to do, I need to go in the specific interface, correct? If I want to uh, only that interface alone, if you want to configure, if you want to block or if you want to do some configuration, then you have to go to the specific interface mode that is the fourth mode if you want to particularly if you want to configure the interfaces okay that is the fourth mode what is the fourth mode means specific interface configuration mode okay in the global configuration mode whatever you are doing that it will be support it will be applicable to all the interfaces okay if you want to particularly or uh, specifically if you want to configure the interfaces then we have to go to the specific interface configuration mode okay so uh, how we can see the specific interface mode means in the global configuration mode what it will do you will see switch switch the bracket config is there that is the global configuration mode correct one minute Switch the bracket, there's a config is there. 
that is the global configuration mode okay so specific interface means switch config if and if only if it is a hash symbol that is a privilege mode okay if only config hash that means that is the global configuration mode if it is a specific interface means config if and if that is a specific interface configuration mode okay so how we can go from uh, global configuration to specific interface means we have to type the command interface interface so which interface you are using maybe uh, you are using fast ethernet it depends on the switch okay so i will i will show you how we can verify whether you are using fast ethernet or gigabit ethernet okay i said in the yesterday i said correct cable category depends on your company requirement okay so if your required is uh, 100 mbps then you can go for fast ethernet if you required 1 gbps then we can go for the gigabit okay so maybe my switch if you are if i am using fast ethernet then we have to type fast ethernet if you are using gigabit then you have to type the gigabit okay interface and the interface name what interface you are using whether fast ethernet or gigabit you have to mention here and then there is a number okay there is a two number one is a zero slash one what is a one meaning means one is the interface num it interface number i said correct here 1 2 3 4 24 interface means 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 24 correct or 48 means 1 2 2 3 up to 48 so whatever the interface you are connected that interface is showing in the second this is a interface number what is a zero means zero means slot number one means interface number zero means slot number as we remember in the router concept i said uh, there is a slot correct optional slot fixed slot as we remember anyone remember so this is a router okay so you can see here i i uh, already show you okay so this is the slot each and every slot which slot you are connected to the interfaces maybe the first slot means always slot it will start with zero this is a zero slot this is the one first slot this is a second slot and this is the third slot okay so which slot you are connected to interface that you can mention here okay in the zero slot you have to mention the zero means which slot you are using that you have to mention the second one is interface number okay so i'm taking as a example as a switch okay in the switch you can see here is there any slot here no correct if it is a no slot means that means the slot is zero if only one slot other than no no slot is there means the slot is name is zero okay maximum How do you slot Sorry. is there or not yeah we How can check that the slot is there or not yeah we can verify in the command i will show you while doing the configuration i will show you okay but so in the, in this picture we can yeah in this picture we can we can uh, get actually maximum in a switch there is a no slot only the zero slot only is there but in router only the cisco product i am saying about cisco product most of the cisco product okay so the catalyst this is called as a catalyst switch so here you can see catalyst 2960 switch okay mostly uh, in companies in the enterprise network we are using a catalyst switch only okay in the catalyst switch okay um, there is a no slot only the zero slot only is there okay maximum in a router only there is a some slot is there 0 1 2 3 okay so you have to mention the slot number and the interface number once you done this uh, command then it will go to the specific interface configuration mode okay what is the first command you have to type enable once you type enable then it will go to the privilege mode in the privilege mode you have to type the config terminal once you type the config terminal then it will go to the global configuration mode once you done the global configuration mode then it will go to the specific interface mode this is the command interface and the interface name and the interface number slot number slash interface number so any doubts
sir whether we have to whether we have to type it in the command prompt yes yeah in the switch in the switch i will show you okay so you have to type it in the uh, net network devices in the cisco packet okay 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 so and also okay uh, whatever we are we are using that is called the cli cli means command line interface what is cli means command line interface okay next to one more thing is there that is a gui 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 they call as a gui okay that means graphical user interface graphical user interface okay if you are if the device if the network device you are accessing via browser that we can call as a gui like you have to type you are out in the web browser okay if you are like http yes like the switch ip 10.0.01 if you are accessing the device via browser that we can call as a gui if you are doing the command maximum in a switchers and router we are going to see only the command only whatever they like enable command config terminal that is a command okay so we are seeing the command cli command line interface gui graphical user interface okay so now i am going to show you okay so you can just take the cisco packet tracer okay you can take any devices okay so here i am going to show you in the switches but you can practice in the router as well if there is both this mode of configuration it is common for all okay you can practice in the router now i will show you in the switch okay you can take any switches maximum i already said uh, i will take the 2960 only this is the model okay so 2960 okay you can just double click the switch in the cisco packet tracer just to double click this okay so here you can see uh, and there is a four tab is there physical config cli attributes okay but i already said uh, if you want to take a device which software we need to use there is a software called putty correct putty so this is a software okay so maximum the device if you want to take a device physically or remotely both you can take uh, in this software only okay so just you can type the ip so whatever your ip configured in the devices you have to type okay once you type just click open while opening only it will be show in the cli only in the cisco packet as only it will be four tab is there but in real time if you are working in a companies only it will be show in the cli tab only nothing there okay physical config attributes nothing there okay you can ignore here also okay so uh, just to go to the cli cli already said command line interface and then type just enter just you can enter okay so you can see here this is the first mode i said correct user execution mode in a user execution mode you have to type the command enable if you are typing enable you can see it will go to the privilege mode okay so after that you have to type the command configure terminal if you are typing a configure terminal then it will go to the config mode you can see switch config and then hash the bracket config is there that is the global configuration mode okay and if you want to go to the specific interface you have to type the command interface i already know so in this switch we are using fast ethernet only i will show you one side and i will show you in this switch we are using fast ethernet okay so i'm just putting as a slot also zero only the interface for example this is a 24 slot is 24 switch is 24 interface is there so you can take any interfaces here i'm just taking as a example as a first interface you can just type interface Sir, fast ethernet can i have one question yes Uh, sir, uh, switch configure. You have type uh, switch uh, configure terminal. Then why these are the four things are? I coming? just enter, enter, enter. Just I am given enter. I am just given okay, enter. Okay, if okay, I okay. if I typing enter, then it will go like this. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, uh, how about the slot? 
how you check the, you, there's no yeah that's i will i will show you okay so just i, I already know this switch, switch having only one slot that's what i mentioned i know already that's what i mentioned here but i will show you how we can verify okay so the first time typing enable once i typing enable it will go to the configuration mode okay so global configuration mode in the global configuration I'm just type in as a interface interface name and the slot number slash interface number okay so once i'm typing it will go to the specific interface mode okay so now i want to back go to the global configuration mode now i'm in which mode i'm in the specific interface configuration mode if i want to back go to the previous mode you have to type the command exit if you're typing exit then it will go to the previous mode if you're typing exit here then again it will go to the previous mode okay then again you have to type exit then it will go to the privilege mode okay again i'm just typing enable configure terminal okay so next interface fast ethernet if fast ethernet shortcut is fa gigabit means gi fast ethernet short name is fa gigabit means gi okay so here i'm typing fully only fast ethernet and zero class one okay so what is the exit meaning what sorry interface uh, fast ethernet what is this command if i want to go to a specific interface that's what i mentioned here correct interface fast ethernet zero slash one if you want to go yeah. to a specific interface you want to go to a specific interface that's what i mentioned i, I go here oh. okay okay if you're typing exit then it will go to the previous mode correct if, I, if i'm typing exit then it will go to the previous mode they say one more command is there there is command called end if you are typing end anywhere any mode okay automatically it will go to the privilege mode if if you are typing end exit meaning means it will go to the previous mode the end means it will directly go to the privilege mode while actually privilege mode is an important means i said all the show commands it will be supported here only okay in companies the show commands is very 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 important okay so we need to verify all the configuration the show comments is very very important each and every topics i also tell you in the show comments okay show comments only important okay so that's what if you're typing end exit means it will go to the previous mode end means it will directly go to the privilege mode clear now are any doubts Can you repeat once again, sir? When we type end, where we go? End. It will be, if you type if I'm typing end, then it will go to the privilege mode. Exit means just to go to the previous mode. If I'm typing end, then it will directly go to the privilege mode, the second mode, privilege mode. You can type in the global configuration mode, a specific interface mode, wherever you are typing, then automatically it will go to the privilege mode. okay so now i will show, show you okay so how we can check which slot we are using and uh, which interface we are using uh, whether we are using fast ethernet or gigabit how we can verify means there is a one command show command is there okay so there is a lot of command to check the interface name interface number slot number okay so maximum i will use this command show ip interface brief okay this command showing a lot of information so it, this will be very helpful for the future classes that's what i will i am just to mention here this is the command this is the command to check whether you are using fast ethernet or gigabit ethernet or which slot we are using whether is there only only one slot is there or multiple slot is there and also what interface name whether the 24 interface or 48 interface means we can verify using using this command okay show ip interface brief okay if i'm typing here you can see here okay so which interface i'm using fast ethernet you can see fast ethernet fast ethernet fast ethernet only here 24 interface okay so you can just ignore these two interfaces okay why i'm saying these two interface means okay in the right hand side there's a two interface correct one i said is this for console 
next one is for some other uh, configuration i will tell you later that one okay that's what the two interface is showing in the uh, down say okay you can just ignore and also you, you can ignore as of now you can just ignore vlan also maybe i will tell you later uh, maybe in the next week i will tell you about vlan concept okay so here you can see how many interface i am using there is a 24 interface only there is a no slot at all only the zero slot only is there okay so all the interface will be fast ethernet only okay in this command we can verify also what ip address is configured for the which in, uh, in the interfaces whether the status is up or down also we can verify using this command okay you can just note this command uh, show ip interface brief this is the command to check the interface name interface number so we'll do this in the privilege mode not in user yeah, configuration mode yeah user is a uh, user execution also it will support it will support you can see i mean you see some of the show commands only it will be supported not all the show commands this is a basic command this command it will be supported okay once you doing some configuration okay so like a bit uh, some uh, technical configuration that it will not support here okay so you can type uh, here or privilege mode maximum in a company we will uh, verify all the show commands in sorry enable okay we can verify the command in the privilege mode only okay and one more command also there what is a command means show interface status here also we can verify whether we are using which slot uh, first command is show ip interface brief okay the next command is show interface status okay here also we can verify you can see here fa means i mentioned fast ethernet correct fa means fast ethernet here also we are using 24 interfaces whether the status is connected or not connected we can verify the status also there is a two command we can verify the interface name interface number and slot number the first command is show ip interface brief the second command is show interface status okay so any doubts on the mode of configuration no sir brief where you have utilized show ip brief or interface show ip brief? interface brief in this command we can verify okay, okay. the that interface is the first yeah oh, yes yes and the second one show interface status okay 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 show interface status, status. okay fine sir okay so anyone having any doubts this command is very very important enable configure terminal and the interface command this three command as of now just uh, i show you the three commands first command is enable second is configure terminal third one is specific interface fast ethernet and zero slash one so any doubts no sir okay next we will go to the configuration okay um, like i will tell you about ios upgrade okay this is not in the syllabus but you know i will tell you okay why i already said how the microsoft is upgrading from windows 7 to windows 8 windows 8 to windows 10 windows 10 to windows 11 okay in the uh, mac also like i think uh, the version is 15 correct uh, 15 or 14 okay the same thing we have to upgrade in the network devices also okay maybe while purchasing that time maybe it will be the if example you are purchasing one laptop in the year 2010 what is the latest OS in 2010 i think windows 7 correct windows 7 is the that time windows 7 is the latest OS. okay the same laptop you are using in the year 2021 what is the latest OS now Windows 10, correct? Yeah. Okay, maybe the Windows 11 is there, but we are not uh, using Windows 11 as of now. Okay, only we are using Windows 10. Okay, so uh, whenever the Microsoft are upgrading from their end, we are also upgrading in our computer as well. Why? Why? Because it will support the latest future. If you are not upgrading, 
then the latest feature and technology it won't support in your laptop the same thing okay so while maybe you are just purchasing in the switches tools and then the time maybe some OS is there okay uh, if you want to uh, support the latest technology whenever the cisco or some other products if you are using whatever the products you are using okay so uh, whatever they are releasing we are also need to upgrade in our end also okay here we can call as a ios what is ios upgrade abbreviation means internet operating system internet operating system os means operating system internet operating system okay so have we done uh, os normal windows os so hope everyone know about the windows uh, upgrade correct what are the step we yes, recommend sir. first we need a os file correct like ios file we need and we need usb drive maybe the pen drive or hard disk some usb drive we, re we require correct then we have to copy the file from we have, we have we need to copy the file to usb drive then we have to set the boot correct normal i'm just saying about normal os how we are installing the os in the computer okay first we need a os file next we need some pen drive or hard disk a cd okay whatever it required okay so the usb drive and we need to copy then we need to boot then we have to save the os and the reboot correct so this are this is the six steps we are following to upgrade the os the same thing here also we are following the network devices such as router firewall okay the same six step only first step, we need a ios file okay instead of usb drive we are using the server called ftp or tftp server you can use any server ftp or tftp because we are copying the file correct we need to copy the file okay so if you want to copy the file for, to network devices we need a server maybe the ftp server or tftp server okay okay so this is then copy boot save reboot this is a six step okay so i will show you okay so how we can check the ios file okay so for example just you are going to upgrade the switch is 2960 i am just taking as a example as 2960 okay you can just go to the google okay just type ios download so whatever the model you, you are going to download you can just mention cisco 2960 ios download okay then you have to go to the official cisco website okay so you can go this website or the software.cisco.com okay here i am directly go to the software.cisco.com only okay you can just type the um, this one okay software.cisco.com okay here you can see uh, which model we have chosen 2960 so in 2960 there is a lot of model is there 24 port 48 port is there okay i'm just uh, choosing some size some devices okay so maybe uh, cisco 2960 24 this is the model number okay so i'm just choosing what i need i need a ios software correct just to click the ios software just to click the ios software okay otherwise we can go this way also okay or you can just go to this website and type the software download okay so this is a different model okay so you can see 2960 24 pc lc switch okay so whatever the model you are use you are using just to go to uh, home so you have to type the switches and which model you are using in the model whether you are using 24 port or 48 port then you have to go to the ios software okay so this is the ios model okay this is the os model in the left hand side you can see here uh, there is a 15.2 15. 15 point, this is the model number 15 like windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 correct the same thing 15.2 15.2.7 e3 e2 e1 okay so there is a lot of uh, ios is there okay so always you have to download the star 
file only okay why actually i recommended to download the star file means if example okay so hope everyone know uh, most of the users most of the windows user they are not using windows 8 why windows 8 we are not using most of the windows user they are not using windows 8 why anyone knows no, no, sir. There is a, some drawback is there. Okay, there is a not a user friendly. There is a, some drawback is there. That's what we are not using. Okay, so Microsoft also not recommended. Okay, Windows 10 they are recommended. All, all the user must upgrade from to Windows 10 because the Windows 7 they are not supporting. That's what they mentioned. The same thing also. Okay, uh, the Cisco suggested list software. You can see if I'm clicking the star button, they are recommending. The Cisco is recommended. This is the best one based on their software quality, stability, long duty. They are recommended to download this file. Okay, you also download the same file only. My suggestion also you have to download this file only. I'm just this is the real time you have to do it. Okay, so this is for um, most of the company they will do this one in real times. Okay, if you're working in a company, okay, you have to do based on your company requirement, you have to upgrade the iOS. Okay. You just to go to the click the file okay so you can see when they are released 22 march 2021 that means this year only they released the software okay so you always download the bin file binary file okay so there's a two file bin tar you can download this one both are same first is uh, third is same only okay uh, you have to download the bin file only dot binary file okay in the right hand side you can see there's a download option if you're clicking download okay it will ask the login username and password okay in a company when you get you buy the switches or router that time the cisco company they will give one user id password okay that username and password we have to give it here if we, if you are giving okay so you have to click your company email id then you have to click next okay um if i'm clicking my personal email id it won't accept it will accept but it blasts the password let's check yeah it accepted one minute let me check my password was working or not Yeah, I think my yeah you can see so my my mattress is working but I, I am not registered with Cisco website okay so once your company they will register with the uh, Cisco website then only you can able to download otherwise you won't okay so you have to ask your manager or in your company's colleague okay then they will provide the username and password to download this one okay so this is the way you have to download the iOS file in the authorized website maybe if i'm using cisco product then i will go to for the cisco website if you are using a different product then you have to go to the, that, that product website maybe the juniper or a hp whatever the product you are using you have to go to the type google you can just type it if you don't know about the uh, website then you, uh, you can ask the product owner okay this is the way you have to download the ios file any doubts No, sir. Okay. So, here actually in the Cisco packet tester, already we have the iOS file. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade. Okay. So, everyone has joined. So, anyone is missed. Okay. So, any doubts to download the iOS file? No, sir. Okay, so now I'm going to upgrade one uh, router. Okay, so I'm just taking as a router. You also practice with router. Okay, because uh, the router only having the iOS, up, iOS file is there in the Cisco packet tracer. That's what actually my suggestion. You can do, you can practice in the uh, one router. Okay, you can just click the router. Okay, here lot of model is there. Okay, so you can choose the model as 1841. Okay, why I'm choosing this model means because in the Cisco packet tracer, we have the iOS file in this model only. Okay, you can just 
uh, get the 1841 router you can just click the router okay next go to end device okay in the end device it will show pc laptop server is there okay you, uh, now actually i need a tftp tftp server right so that's what i'm choosing a server okay so you can just uh, get the router and the server okay and just connect it to router to server okay i said by default the router interface is down correct so that's what the router interface is showing us down which interface is connected fast ethernet fe means fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here connected to server is which interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 only okay okay so i'm just now actually i'm just going to assign an ip address in a server because by default ip address is required in the server or computer okay that's what i'm going to assign the ip address okay so just to go to desktop click the server go to desktop and type the ip configuration okay so whatever ip you want you can give it i'm just giving the ip address and then submit mask default submit mask okay so what is a gateway gateway means I said the router IP address is a gateway. Correct. Router is a gateway. Okay. Now I am going to assign the IP address in a router is 10.0.01. I am going to assign. As of now, I am not assigned. Okay. I am going to assign the IP addresses in the router 10.0.0.1. This is the IP address. I am going to assign it. That's what I if if, if you are not given also no problem. Okay, why? Because the router the why the gateway is required? Gateway is required. To connect a different networks correct here i don't uh, i'm not connecting different networks okay so i'm just connected a one, one thing within a network only if you want you can give the i gateway otherwise you won't okay so i'm just taking a router and the server okay and then i'm just given the ip address okay so next i'm going to a router okay so you always remember two things in your router Whenever you are doing any configuration in the router, you have to remember two things. The first thing, you have to up the interfaces. By default, the interface is down, correct? We have to up the interface manually using some commands. The second is, you have to assign the IP address. Because the router will forward the data based on IP address. Switch will forward the data based on MAC address. By default, MAC address is there. Okay, but router, we have to assign the IP address and we need to up the ports manually. Always remember two things. First is up the ports. Next is you have to assign the IP address. The same thing I am also going to do. Which interface is connected to the server? FA 0 slash 0. Okay, just to double click the router. Okay, go to CLI. Okay, so here it will ask yes or no. As of now, you can just give no. I will tell you why I am giving no in the routing concept. Okay, so just to click the no. Okay, then it will you can see it is a user execution mode. Okay, just to type the command enable. Next to type the configure terminal. I'm going to up the ports to the specific interface, correct? Which interface I'm going to assign? Which interface uh, which interface I'm going to up zero. FA? Zero, zero, zero. zero. Okay, so you have to go to a specific interface. Okay, configure terminal, next interface, fast ethernet, 0 slash 0. Okay, so I am just going to go to the specific interface. Now, I am going to assign the IP address. What is the command to assign the IP address in the router interface means? IP address, whatever, assign, whatever the IP address is required, you can just give. I already said, I am going to assign the IP address as 10. 0.0.1 0 .0 I'm just given next to subnet mask you have to give the in the single line IP address and the whatever IP address you require you can just give the IP address and the subnet mask just enter okay now I assign the IP address what is the second step we need to up the ports what is the command to up the ports means normally what is the meaning for shutdown what is the meaning for shutdown Turn off. Turn off, correct. If you want to turn off, you have to put no shutdown. Okay, shutdown means the port goes down. If you want to up the ports, then you have to give the command called no shutdown. 
shutdown means the port goes down if you are if you are giving no shutdown then port goes up you can see if i'm giving the command then i'm getting one message what message the port change state to up if you are going to the cisco packet as also now you can see before that that is a red color now it back up clear any doubts up i am just assign the ip address in the server next step i am just given the ip address on the up the port in the routing interface okay now i am just checking you can just go to the server go to command prompt i am just checking whether i have the connectivity to reach the router what is the ip address router ping 10.0.1 you can see if i am pinging i am getting the success message that means i have the connectivity to reach the sir okay router okay so next you go to service in the in the server just to go to service here in the left hand side there is a lot of services is there okay so you can just choose tftp because now i need a tftp server you can choose ftp or tftp but i am going to choose here is tftp you can click the tftp by default in the cisco packet tracer tftp server is on here on off is there by default on is there here lot of ios file is showing this the ios file all are ios file okay so how we can check the model means first c stand for cisco c means cisco next is model number okay what is the model number is yes, 1841 the same model only i am choosing correct you can see 1841 only i am choosing okay in the c 1841 how many os is the ios how many files 1 2 3 three ios file is there correct okay so, so i am all... choosing tp sorry why are you using tftp to actually i need to copy the file correct to the router because by default the ios is not there in the router we need to uh, okay. copy the file from some uh, for, uh, we have to download correct once you download her, okay you have to uh, put the uh, file in the tftp server because in the network we we, we have only the tftp server or ftp server to access the file okay okay here you can see there is a three uh, ios file is there okay so i already know what file is running in currently means the file i will show you how we can verify means 12415t1.bin that file is currently running now okay i am just assuming 12412 is the latest file what is the latest file 12412 is the latest file i am just going to copy the file from tftp server to my network devices okay so any doubts up to this one no sir okay so shall we do it now actually it will take 10 minutes so it's fine correct no problem for everyone or yeah yeah we can do so okay so this is the file you can just click the control c just copy i'm just copying the file or you want to type manually here i i don't want to type manually i'm just copying control c okay so just to copy this is the i'm just assuming 12412 is the latest file okay so i'm just go to the router okay so just go to the privilege mode type in okay now i'm just to show you uh, how we can verify which ios is running means there is a command called show version what is the command show version is the command in this command there is a lot of information it will be showing but here i want to check only ios file okay in the fifth line you can see system image file okay what i said 12415t1 is the file it is a file correct so this file only is currently running in the in this router 1841 router which ios file is running means this is the ios file is running in the router okay okay uh, normally in a computer or windows windows machine uh, which uh, where the os is the whether the c drive or d drive by default c c correct the same thing here also the c, c is the uh, ram or rom the os is there in ram or rom ram memory or rom memory rom rom sir 
wrong, correct? Here also there is a lot of memory is there. I will tell you about later about the memories. Okay, in the OS file where it will be stored means the store in the flash memory. Where the iOS file is stored means it will be stored in the flash memories. Okay, so I'm just to show you uh, how we can verify the memory means show flash you can just type the command first time typing show version now i'm typing show flash so in the flash memory only all the ios file it's stored you can see you can just ignore uh, one and two that is xml file you can just ignore as of now okay uh, one two four one b this is the only one ios is there in the flash memory okay now i'm going to copy from where TFTP server to flash memory because uh, in the flash memory only we have to set the boot. Okay, so what is the first step? We need iOS file, correct? I have the iOS file, I have the FTP TFTP server. What is the third step? I'm just going to copy the file from where TFTP or FTP server to my router. In the router, where you need to save in the flash memory. Okay, so what is the command means? I already said. Copy commands, it will support where? Copy command, where it will support? In the privilege mode, correct? Copy, save, reboot, all the command, it will be supported in the privilege mode only. That's what I'm just going to the privilege mode. Okay, copy from where? TFTP server to flash memory. Copy TFTP to flash memory. You can just type enter. Okay, then it will ask the TFTP server IP. What is the server IP? 10.10.0.0.2. You have to type. Okay. In the server, there is a lot of iOS file is there, correct? Which IV, which iOS file is you required? I already copied. That's I'm just right click and paste it. Or you have to type it manually. So I'm just assuming 12412 is the latest file. Already 12415 is there. I'm just assuming 12412 is the latest file. I'm just going to upgrade. This is the source file. It asks whether I'm saving the file as a same name or different name. I don't want to change the name. I'm just click the enter. Okay. Once you type the enter, then it will go copy. This is the copy. Okay. So exclamatory means just copying. It will copy faster here, but in a companies depends on your in your speed, depends on the connectivity. Maybe it will take time. Here it's just copied faster. Okay. Now I have copied. Okay. Now I'm just going to show flash. Just type show flash. Okay. So you can see here now. Before that, only one file is there. Okay. Now another file is there. I'm just copying from where TFTP server to my flash memory. That is the third step. Okay. Fourth, in the router, I have two iOS file. I have the two iOS file. Which file? One is one two four one five. Next one is one two four one two. Okay. So while booting, if you, if you just turn off and turn on the device, it will go to the booting process. Correct. In the booting process, which iOS file I need to take? In my router, I have the two iOS file. Which router I need to take? That you have to set it in the boot mode. Okay, I'm um, just to go to the configuration mode, configure terminal. Okay, I'm just now I'm going to set the boot. Boot system. This is a command to set the boot. Boot system flash in the flash which which iOS? You have to give it. One two four one two. Yeah, one two four one two. You have to give it. Okay, I'm just giving one two four one two. Now I set the boot. Okay, this is the command boot system flash and the file name which file name you want to boot okay so now i just copy boot command completed okay next is save save and reboot i already said save and reboot it will do only the privilege mode only okay so now i go to the privilege mode only boot alone you have to do it in the configuration copy save reboot all the command you have to do it in the privilege mode only okay what is a command to save the configuration means all right the simple command right if you are giving right then your configuration will save now i save the configuration okay 
now i am going to reboot what is a command to reboot means a reload save command is write okay a reboot command is a reload okay so while giving enter it will ask the confirmation just i am giving enter okay now it's booting happen okay now it's booting okay so now it's booted okay just type enable okay now i'm going just to show you show version show version i'm just i'm just verifying okay you can see here which file is came the latest ios file came correct 1241 that's what we are assuming 12412 is the latest file okay so now it came here so this is the ios upgrade procedure Okay, so I'm just writing the command here. If you want, you can note this. I, it is there in my notes. Okay, so I will share maybe uh, next week. I will share my PDF notes. Okay, what is a copy command means? Go to privilege mode, copy TFTP flash. First, it will ask the IP address. is a third procedure correct second it blasts the source file name you have to give the file name source can we see this in an cmd no cmd is not working bad you have to see, verify in the cmd like for uh, as you connected to the router right so we can see the version and if the router no actually i am doing only the cisco packet as a correct so in the cisco packet as in, in the cisco packet as i am taking a router so we can't verify in the uh, our cli okay this is the copy command fourth what is a boot command you have to go to the configuration mode the configuration mode you have to type boot system flash and the file name so whatever the file name you, you want you can choose some put this save command what is the save command in the privilege mode you have to type enter as write sixth one is reboot just you type the reload Okay, this is the sixth command. Okay, what is the show commands? I will mention the show commands as well. Show commands. One I mentioned show version. Show version and the show flash. Show flash. Okay, so you can just note this one. Copy TFTP flash. First, you need to give the TFTP server IP. Next is source file name. On the destination file, you can just enter. And the boot, you have to set the boot system flash file name. All right. Reload. The show command is show version show flash. So this is what you can just practice. Once you practice, then only you can easily understood. Okay. So this is not in the CCNS syllabus. But in a companies, most of the companies they will upgrade it. Depends on the requirement. Depends on the latest features. If you want to support the same procedure for switches, router, and firewall. Any doubt you can ask me. Otherwise, okay. we can continue tomorrow. So we'll no, practice. No. Yeah, you have to practice. Then only you can easily understand. Otherwise, it is very difficult. Sir, can you provide the uh, commands uh, PDF in the proper sequence? Sir? Yeah, I will. That's what I actually, actually I have. The you can see uh, this is my uh, PDF. Yes, file. Yes, okay. That, so yeah, here, actually, yes, I mentioned sir. copy TFTP flash boot system. Save what is the command? Save configuration reboot to check the iOS file show version. Everything is there. That's what I said. I will uh, share this file on next week. You can just practice okay. in the sir, video. Uh, going to... Okay, sir, can you go to the Cisco packet tracer just for a second? Okay. 
So this okay. is the command I'm given. Uh, no, no. A dashboard. 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 Okay. Okay. From where you have gone through the any switch or router for the CLL? The right hand side. Command line. The right hand side. Uh, router you want to see like correct? Just double click. Double click, then go to see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. On double clicking, we have to go in C L I, right? Yeah, physical R. You can just type physical R. Yes. All commands. Yes, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And here we have to do the commands. Okay. Yes, correct. Fine. If any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, we can continue tomorrow. You can just to practice. If any doubt, you can ask me tomorrow as well. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Please uh, upload this recording too, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please I will do it. Will. Thank I will you. Okay, so everyone has joined. So everyone is missed. Okay, so any doubts to download the iOS file? No, sir. Okay, so now I'm going to upgrade one uh, router. Okay, so I'm just taking as a router. You also practice with router. Okay, because uh, the router only having the iOS up, iOS file is there in the Cisco packet tracer. That's what actually my suggestion. You can do, you can practice in the uh, one router. Okay, you can just click the router. Okay, here lot of model is there. Okay, so you can choose the model as 1841. Okay, why I'm choosing this model means because in the Cisco packet tracer, we have the iOS file in this model only. Okay, you can just uh, get the 1841 router. You can just click the router. Okay, next to go to end device. Okay, in the end device, it will show PC, laptop, server is there. Okay, you, uh, now actually, I need a TFTP, TFTP server, correct? So that's what I'm choosing a server. Okay, so you can just uh, get the router and the server okay and just connected to router to server okay i said by default the router interface is down correct so that's what the router interface is showing us down which interface is connected fast ethernet fa means fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here connected to server is which interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 only okay Okay, so I'm just, now actually I'm just going to assign an IP address in a server because by default IP address is required in the server or computer. Okay, that's what I'm going to assign the IP address. Okay, so just to go to desktop, click the server, go to desktop and type the IP configuration. Okay, so whatever IP you want, you can give it. I'm just giving the IP address and then submit mask, default submit mask. Okay, so what is a gateway? Gateway means I said the router IP address is a gateway. Correct, router is a gateway. Okay, now I am going to assign the IP address in a router is 10.0.01. I am going to assign, as of now I am not assigned. Okay, I am going to assign the IP addresses in the router 10.0.0.1. This is the IP address I am going to assign it. That's what I, if, if, if you are not given also, no problem. Okay, why? Because the router, the, why the gateway is required? Gateway is required. To connect a different networks, correct? Here I don't, uh, I'm not connecting different networks. Okay, so I'm just connected a one, one single within a network only. If you want, you can give the I gateway. Otherwise, you won't. Okay, so I'm just taking a router and the server. Okay, and then I'm just given the IP address. Okay, so next I'm going to a router. Okay, so you always remember two things in your router. Whenever you are doing any configuration in the router, you have to remember two things. The first thing, you have to up the interfaces. By default, the interface is down, correct? We have to up the interface manually using some commands. The second is, you have to assign the IP address because the router will forward the data based on IP address. Switch will forward the data based on MAC address. By default, MAC address is there. Okay, but router, we have to assign the IP address and we need to up the ports manually. Always remember two things. First is up the ports. Next is you have to assign the IP address. 
the same thing i am also going to do which interface is connected to the server fa 0/0 okay just to double click the router okay go to cli okay so here it will ask yes or no as of now you can just give no i will tell you why i am giving no in the routing concept okay so just to click the no okay then it will you can see it is a user execution mode okay just type the command enable next type the configure terminal i'm going to up the port to the specific interface correct which interface i'm going to assign which interface uh, which interface i'm going to up zero zero fa zero okay so you have to go to a specific interface okay configure terminal next interface fast ethernet zero slash zero okay so i'm just to go to a specific interface now i'm going to assign the ip address what is the command to assign the ip address in the router interface means ip address whatever assign whatever the ip address is required you can just give i already said i'm going to assign the ip address as 10.0.0.1 i'm just to give one next to subnet mask you have to give the in the single line ip address and the whatever ip address you required you can just give the ip address and the subnet mask just enter okay now i assign the ip address what is the second step we need to up the ports what is the command to up the ports means normally what is the meaning for shutdown what is the meaning for shutdown turn off turn off correct if you want to turn on you have to put no shutdown okay shutdown means the port goes down if you want to up the ports then you have to give the command called no shutdown shutdown means the port goes down if you are if you are giving no shutdown then port goes up you can see if i am giving the command then i am getting one message what message the port change state to up if you are going to the cisco packet as also now you can see before that that is a red color now it back up clear any doubts up i am just assign the ip address in the server next step i am just given the ip address on the up the port in the routing interface okay now i am just checking you can just go to the server go to command prompt i am just checking whether i have the connectivity to reach the router what is ip address router ping 10.0.1 you can see if i am pinging i am getting the success message that means i have the connectivity to reach the sir okay router okay so next you go to service that in the server just to go to service here in the left hand side there is a lot of services is there okay so you can just choose tftp because now i need a tftp server you can choose ftp or tftp but i am going to choose here is tftp you can click the tftp by default in the cisco packet tracer tftp server is on here on off is that by default on is that here lot of ios file is showing this the ios file all are ios file okay so how we can check the model means first c stand for cisco c means cisco next is model number okay what is the model number is yes. 1841 the same model only i am choosing correct you can see 1841 only i am choosing okay in the c 1841 how many os is the ios how many files 1 2 3 3 ios file is there correct okay so, so i am all... choosing tp sorry why are you using tftp to actually i need to copy the file correct to the router because by default the ios is not there in the router we need to uh, okay. copy the file from some we have to download correct once you download it okay you have to uh, put the uh, file in the tftp server because in the network we, we we have only the tftp server or ftp server to access the file okay okay here you can see there is a three uh, ios file is there okay so i already know what file is running in currently means the file i will show you how we can verify means 12415t1.bin that file is currently running now okay i am just assuming 12412 is the latest file what is the latest file 12412 is the latest file 
I'm just going to copy the file from TFTP server to my network devices. Okay. So any doubts up to this one? No, sir. Okay. So shall we do it now? Actually, it will take 10 minutes. So it's fine, correct? No problem for everyone, Arvind. Yeah, yeah, we can do so. Okay. So this is the file. You can just click the Control C, just to copy. I'm just copying the file. Or you want to type manually? Here, I I don't want to type manually. I'm just copying Control C. Okay. So just to copy. This is the. I'm just assuming one two four one two is the latest file. Okay. So I'm just to go to the router. Okay. So just to go to the privilege mode. Type in. Okay. Now I'm just to show you. Uh, how we can verify which iOS is running means there is a command called show version. What is the command? Show version is the command. In this command, there is a lot of information it will be showing. But here, I want to check only iOS file. Okay, in the fifth line, you can see system image file. Okay, what I said? One two four one five t one is the file. It is the file correct. So this file only is currently running in the in this router 1841 router. Which iOS file is running means this is the iOS file is running in the router. Okay, okay. Uh, normally in a computer or Windows Windows machine, uh, which uh, where the OS is the whether the C drive or D drive by default. C. C correct. The same thing here also. The C C is the uh, RAM or ROM. The OS is there in RAM or ROM? RAM memory or ROM memory? ROM, ROM, sir. ROM, correct. Here also there is a lot of memory is there. I will tell you about later about the memories. Okay. In the OS file, where it will be stored means the store in the flash memory. Where the iOS file is stored means it will be stored in the flash memories. Okay. So I am just to show you uh, how we can verify the memory means show flash you can just type the command first time typing show version now i'm typing show flash so in the flash memory only all the ios file it's stored you can see you can just ignore uh, one and two that is xml file you can just ignore as of now okay uh, one two four one b this is the only one ios is there in the flash memory okay now i'm going to copy from where TFTP server to flash memory because uh, in the flash memory only we have to set the boot. Okay, so what is the first step? We need iOS file, correct? I have the iOS file. I have the FTP TFTP server. What is the third step? I'm just going to copy the file from where TFTP or FTP server to my router. In the router, where you need to save in the flash memory. Okay, so what is the command means? I already said. Copy commands. It will support where. Copy command where it will support. In the privilege mode, correct? Copy, save, reboot. All the command it will be supported in the privilege mode only. That's what I'm just going to the privilege mode. Okay. Copy from where. TFTP server to flash memory. Copy TFTP to flash memory. You can just type enter. Okay. Then it will ask the TFTP server IP. What is the server IP? 10.10.0.0.2. You have to type. Okay. In the server, there is a lot of iOS file is there, correct? Which IOS which file is you required? I already copied. That's I'm just right click and paste it. Or you have to type it manually. So I'm just assuming 12412 is the latest file. Already 12415 is there. I'm just assuming 12412 is the latest file. I'm just going to upgrade. This is a source file. It asks whether I'm saving the file as the same name or different name. I don't want to change the name. I'm just click the enter. Okay. Once you type the enter, then it will go copy. This is the copy. Okay. So exclamatory means just copying. It will copy faster here, but in a companies depends on your in your speed depends on the connectivity. Maybe it will take time. Here it's just copied faster. Okay. Now I have copied. Okay. Now I'm just going to show flash. Just type show flash. Okay. 
so you can see here now before that only one file is there okay now another file is there i'm just copying from where tftp server to my flash memory that is the third step okay fourth in the router i have two ios file i have the two ios file which file one is 12415 next one is 12412 okay so while booting if you if you just turn off and turn on the device it will go to the booting process correct in the booting process which ios file i need to take in my router i have the two ios file which router i need to take that you have to set it in the boot mode okay i am just to go to the configuration mode configure terminal okay i am just now i am going to set the boot boot system this is a command to set the boot boot system flash in the flash which which ios you have to give it 1412 yeah 1412 you have to give it okay i am just giving 1412 now i set the boot okay this is the command boot system flash and the file name which file name you want to boot okay so now i just copy boot command completed okay next is save save and reboot i already said save and reboot it will do only the privilege mode only okay so now i go to the privilege mode only boot alone you have to do it in the configuration copy save reboot all the command you have to do it in the privilege mode only okay what is a command to save the configuration means all right the simple command right if you are giving right then your configuration will save now i save the configuration okay now i am going to reboot what is a command to reboot means a reload save command is a right okay a reboot command is a reload okay so while giving enter it will ask the confirmation just i am giving enter okay now it's booting happen okay now it's booting okay so now it's booted okay just type enable okay now i'm going just showing show version show version i'm just i'm just verifying okay you can see here which file is came the latest ios file came correct 1241 that's what we are assuming 12412 is the latest file okay so now it came here so this is the ios upgrade procedure Okay, so I'm just writing the command here. If you want, you can note this. I, it is there in my notes. Okay, so I will share maybe uh, next week. I will share my PDF notes. Okay, what is a copy command means? Go to privilege mode, copy TFTP flash. First, it will ask the IP address. is a third procedure correct second it blast the source file name you have to give the file name source can we see this in a cmd no cmd is not working where you have to see, verify the cmd like for uh, as you connected to the router right so we can see the version and if the router no actually i am doing only the cisco packet as a correct so in the cisco packet as in, in the cisco packet as i am taking a router so we can't verify in the C, uh, our cli okay this is the copy command fourth what is a boot command you have to go to the configuration mode the configuration mode you have to type boot system flash and the file name so whatever the file name you, you want you can choose some put this save command what is the save command in the privilege mode you have to type enter as write sixth one is reboot just you type the reload Okay, this is the sixth command. Okay, what is the show commands? I will mention the show commands as well. 
show comments one i mentioned show version show version and the show flash show flash okay so you can just note this one copy tftp flash first you need to give this a dash ftftp server ip next is source file name on the destination file you can just enter and the boot you have to set the boot system flash file name all right reload the show command is show version show flash so this is what you can just practice once you practice then only you can easily understood okay so this is not in the ccna syllabus but in a companies most of the companies they will upgrade it depends on the requirement depends on the latest features if you want to support the same procedure for switches router and firewall any doubt you can ask me otherwise okay. we can continue tomorrow so we'll no, practice no. yeah you have to practice then only you can easily understood otherwise it is very difficult sir can you provide the uh, commands uh, pdf in the proper sequence sir? yeah i will that's what i actually, actually i have the you can see uh, this is my uh, pdf yes, yes, okay that, so yeah actually yes, i mentioned sir. copy tftp flash boot system save what is the command save configuration reboot to check the ios file show version everything is there that's what i said i will uh, share this file on next week you can just practice okay. in the sir, video uh, going to okay sir can you go to the cisco packet tracer just for a second okay so this okay. is the command I'm given. Uh, no, no. A dashboard. 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 Okay. Okay. From where you have gone through the any switch or router for the CLL? In the right hand side. Command line. In the right hand side. Uh, router. You want to see like right? Just double click. Double click. Then go to CLL. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. On double clicking, we have to go in CLI, right? Yeah, physical R. You can just type physical write command all commands. Yes, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And here we have to do the commands. Okay. Yes, correct. Fine. If any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, we can continue tomorrow. You can just to practice. If any doubt, you can ask me tomorrow as well. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Please uh, upload this recording too, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please I will do it. Thank I will you. Upgrade. Thanks.